Uh, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach Healy and then take questions. Uh, excited for the end of the year. I think uh, you, you go through the season getting ready for the postseason, and um, there haven't been a ton of years in, in history to be able to get to play in the Big Ten tournament. So it's a big deal when you qualify. Uh, we're really excited to, um, you know, advance and, and be one of the, the top teams in the conference. Um, and it's going to be fun to go out to Ann Arbor and, and try to do a little damage. Questions? Important is it to go in with a win or a couple wins and build some momentum that way? Uh, a win is huge. I mean, really, our uh, our backs are against the wall if we want to keep playing. So it's it's been a fun year. We've done some exciting things by going on winning streaks and and beating a couple ranked teams. But at this point, um, when you're a bubble team, it's it's fun to be a bubble team. Um, but that brings that excitement of you got to go in there and, and win a game. So uh, that that first game is it's huge. Yvette, what do you have to do in your mind to, to secure a place in the NCAA tournament? Uh, you know, it, there's so much that's out of your hands at this point that you, nothing's a guarantee. Um, I really like where we're sitting right now. It, it's exciting. It's, it makes you a little, uh, you know, nervous about what's happening, but I think that's the fun of being in the conversation, you know, for our team that we, we've had a, a little bit of break that we hadn't been in for two years. And it's funny that, you know, historically you can go through droughts of 10 years of not going in. And for us, you know, two years not in and everybody's chomping at the bit that, you know, we want to say we've been in the NCAA tournament three of the last five years. And, um, you know, you got to win a game. And in, in my eyes, you got to win one or two. You really don't want to take it and, and put it in anyone else. His hands. So, our uh, our goal is to be playing on Championship Saturday. Go ahead. I know bubbles are imprecise things to define, but how how many teams for how many spots? What's what's it looking like nationally? In, um, in that you know, situation? It, it'll all play out based on uh, you know who the favors are in everyone's conference. So so much of that's out of your hands. If if the favors win, you know, just like basketball, that everyone's cheering for the the conference favorites to win when you're one of those teams that's in consideration. So. Um, it, you know, we're, we're at, in the top 10%. When there's 300 teams and you're in the, the 30 to 40 range, we're really proud of that. But uh, the bubble is mysterious. And so, you know, it's exciting that we do still have it in our hands and there's still games left to play. Brad? You've had, you only have four seniors on this club. You win 32 regular season games. Did, did you, would you say you overachieved or was this kind of what you were expecting from this year's club? Uh, I think it's an overachievement. You know, uh, of course, every year you want to be a, a postseason consideration team, but it's tough to do. Um, you know, I look at our squad right now, and the senior class is the only ones with postseason experience. Even the juniors, uh, you know, and sophomores, they've been to the Big Ten tournament once and haven't won a game. So really, you're dependent on. Chloe Miller having the, all the experience on the on the field, and, and Sarah Novak was a freshman, but really wasn't a, a solidified starter at that point. So to do this, um, to have a freshman on the mound that gets 10 Big Ten wins, that's unheard of. I mean, you'll have to check the record books, but I don't know many freshmen that have put up 10 wins in, in conference in a season. So we're really proud of that. I think we're still hungry, but uh, if you take a step back and look at the progress the program's made, just to be ranked multiple times during the year, um, it's a fun race to be in. Any further questions, Brian? Who might you play? Do you know? Um, Purdue's in the mix right now. Indiana's in the mix. Iowa and Penn State. So we, <laughs> we're watching the games. We're, we're following. We've got four teams that we could play. You know, in this point of year, you don't really, you don't really chew, cheer for anyone. You just <laughs> you focus on yourself, let your team get their finals done. They're studying, you know, fast and furious, trying to get everything done before we head to Ann Arbor. Um, but I think the one of the most exciting parts of the year for me when you look at our team is that we have so much hometown talent. And I think that's the part that I've never seen so many crowds at Goodman Diamond that, you know, all over the country people are are tweeting and talking about record breaking attendance of a thousand people. And we put up a thousand people multiple times and, and had a two thousand 
uh, fan day. So the state of Wisconsin's excited that we're winning some games. When you have kids like Steph Lombardo from Wisconsin getting game-winning hits against Michigan, and, and Jordan Little went yard again this weekend and had big home runs, and she's from Hudson, Wisconsin, um, that's cool. Your pitcher's from Iowa, your catcher's from Iowa, and, and our three and four hitters, Sarah Novak and uh, Brooke Widerski are from Chicago. So I think the, the excitement is we are a national team, but there's so much Midwest talent that I, I think that's what's put fans in the stands this year. And one more. How much uh, gas does Caitlin have left in her tank? Uh, I, I think she's got a lot, you know, and the, the fun part about Kate Menz as a freshman, you know, we'll look at her sometimes and say, does she have any left? And she'll throw a better game day two or day three. So, you know, day three at, at uh, Maryland, she's throwing a no-hitter you know, mid to late in the game after giving up some hits and giving up some home runs in the first and second game. Um, so that's fun to see. And then Kirsten Stevens threw great this weekend. You know, she pulled down her first Big Ten win of the, of the season. She came in in relief in all three games. And to see that from a senior, uh, we're going to need the help. So it's fun to see that side too.